Hey, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy and I am back and wanting to do a recipe for y'all today. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you have been here with me, welcome back. Uh, let's jump into it. So today I wanna do a homemade spinach wrap for veggie sandwiches and things like that because it's really hard to find an oil-free recipe in the store that doesn't have a ton of sodium and extra stuff in it so today that's what we're going to do so that you can do some quick easy lunches um this is a super simple recipe so let's go ahead and get right to it so the first thing i'm going to do is saute some spinach this is five ounces i'm going to use the whole container because spinach really wilts down and then i'm going to go ahead and mix together the dry ingredients so add three cups of flour, your choice. This one has a mixture by Central Milling and it is half wheat and half barley. So I'm gonna, like I said, put three cups in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to add in the baking powder. Uh, one teaspoon, this is a half teaspoon measure, so that's why I use two. And then I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt and mix this up really well. So after you get that mixed up, you want to continue to saute your spinach. I did this in a nonstick skillet without any oil or water because this is going to go directly into a cup of water after it's wilted down really well. And I decided to just go ahead and transfer it into what I was going to blend this up in. So you can see it went right into the cup and then straight to the blender. And whenever you blend this, you want to make sure to blend this up really well and not leave a bunch of chunks left behind. And then we're going to go ahead and add the wet ingredients to the dry. So four ounces of applesauce. This acts as the oil in the recipe. And then we're going to add in the green mixture of spinach and water. And then we're going to mix this up in the stand mixer. So once it's ready to go, go ahead and mix this up on a low setting and you're going to mix it up until it's mixed well and then you can start adding in a quarter cup of flour at a time. Overall, I ended up adding in another cup and a quarter of flour. So total, I used four and a quarter cups for this recipe because you want the dough to not be sticky and able to work with this easily whenever you get ready to roll it out. So you want to make sure that you have enough to where it's not gonna be super tacky and sticky to your fingers, but you also do not want this to be so dry that it is like a hard rock. So just add flour to the point where it's no longer really tacky. <music> So in order to get this last bit of flour, you can still see it's kind of sticky and tacky wanting to stick to the paddle. I don't know why in the world I used the paddle. A dough hook would have been a much better choice, but I ended up kneading this in by hand to get most of the rest of the flour into the dough. And then I go ahead and mix it up again until it is no longer tacky. And just go ahead and pull it right off of what should be the dough hook. <laughs> but it's my paddle and then I'm going to roll this into a ball so that I am ready to work with it before rolling it out. So then you just wanna lay this on a lightly floured surface and then we're gonna get ready to divide this up and I want this to be eight equal pieces. So I cut my dough in half and then I'm gonna cut that in half again to make four quarters. And then I will end up cutting the four quarters in half so that I can make sure that I get eight equal pieces. So then you want to go ahead and let this rest for 15 minutes before rolling out onto a lightly floured surface. Once the 15 minutes have passed, you can go ahead and roll these out. I'm just going to use a rolling pin, a lightly floured surface, and I will use a little bit of flour on top as needed to keep the rolling pin from sticking. 
Okay, so then you want to roll your wraps out, and you can see by my end product that it does not have to be perfect. I just want it to be a little bit larger so it's easier to wrap up veggies in and things like that. And I'm going to put it on my rolling pin to transfer it to my frying pan. I didn't actually do this with all of them, and you don't have to do that. Sometimes it just makes it a little bit easier. And this is my nonstick skillet. You can use whatever nonstick service that you have, but you just want to cook this um, until you start seeing it brown and that it may puff up in the middle but that just means that it's cooking throughout um, it doesn't necessarily have to puff up but once you start seeing browning after probably about 45 seconds to a minute you want to flip it over onto the other side and allow it to cook and look how yummy and delicious this looks you want to do all of your um, tortillas like that and you end up with this beautiful product and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some veggies and put this in uh, my wrap I'm gonna bring this to work with me so this is the next morning I'm cutting up some orange bell pepper carrot cucumber some beautiful tomatoes and a little bit of uh, avocado and I'm gonna put in some lettuce and here I'm making a homemade dressing with lemon balsamic a little bit of Hestia which is a Greek seasoning that I just love so much I'll add the links to both of these products uh, in the description box and I'm also adding in a little bit of a lemon juice and it is super super simple but really delicious oh and I'll end up adding some black pepper into that as well <music> So that's how I make the easy spinach wraps and I will show you what it looks like whenever it's put together. It's the next morning so I got everything ready for lunch for work. Um, so yeah, that's how it, simple it can be. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks so much for watching.